Stop charging like a maniac. One tiny charge tonight could save your EV battery years of life. There's a mid-state of charge sweet spot that accurately saves years of life. Today I'll show you the simple charging trick every EV owner can use. Keep your battery in the mid-state of charge zone. I'll explain exactly what the sweet spot is, why it works at the chemistry level, the real numbers uh, you can rely on, and how to use it for daily commuting without sacrificing convenience. By the end, you'll know the exact percentages to aim for, why manufacturers nudge you away from 100%, and a few concrete routines you can use tonight to protect your battery for the next 5 to 10 years. And there is a free PDF, link is in the description, you can refer to it. Batteries don't like extremes. Charging to full and sitting there, or letting the battery fall to very low levels, both accelerate wear and tear. Scientists and lab tests show the batteries are chemically happiest near the middle of their charge, roughly around 40 to 60% state of charge, and that avoiding prolonged high voltage and deep discharge slows the side reactions at each capacity. One recent industry review and lab results said found that cycling batteries within a mid-range roughly between 25 to 70%, or more narrowly 40 to 60%, led to much less capacity loss or hundreds of equivalent full cycles compared to cycling from near empty to full. In one comparison, staying in the mid-ranges produced only about 12% capacity reduction after roughly 700 equivalent full cycles, while cycling across the full 5-100% window produced closer to 20% loss over the same stress. Those numbers map directly to longer usable life in real cars. So what actually happens inside the cells? There are a few key mechanisms. At high state of charge, electrode materials are driven to higher potential, and that increases the rate of parasitic side reactions at the cathode and the electrolyte. Heat and the voltage together uh, also accelerate the breakdown of active materials and the growth of resistive layers. At the very low state of charge, the anode can experience lithium plating or stress that change electrode microstructure. Both high state of charge and deep discharge raises internal resistances and reduce capacity sooner. Put it simply, middle of the road chemistry is less stressed, so the battery age is slower. The depth of energy, NREL, and electrochemical literature consistently point to time spent at high state of charge and elevated temperature as major drivers of calendar and cyclic aging. Manufacturers already baked this into their advice and features. Many EVs encourage daily charge limits well below 100% for routine driving and recommended full chargers only for long trips. That's not just marketing, it's based on the same physical uh, principles and test data that researchers publish. Battery management systems and recommended daily limits, for example the common 80%, suggestion from, from multiple OEMs and support documents, are intended to limit your time at high cell voltages, which reduces aging. If you want the most life out of your pack, follow those charging limits where practical. But there's a problem. Drivers want range and convenience. People see a battery and think fill it up and they will set the charge limit to 100% or top up before every trip. That behavior puts more hours at high state of charge and speed up degradation. On the other hand, absolutely refusing to charge above 60% can be impractical. Range needs, road trips, and fast charging excess patterns mean you'll sometimes need more. The challenge is balancing daily convenience with long-term battery health, getting the best of both worlds without making life miserable. Here's the practical sweet spot and the data behind it. Optimal mid-state of charge range. Aim to operate most days with the battery between about 40% and 60% state of charge if you can. That's the tightest sweet spot, where lab tests suggest stress is lowest and aging is minimized. If 40 to 60% is too restrictive for you in your lifestyle, a fire band of 25 to 70% still gives the most of benefit while being much more usable. Multiple lab studies and uh, applied research indicates these bands reduces capacity fade significantly versus wide swings or staying near 0% or 100% for long periods. Repeated cycling within mid-ranges produce only 12% capacity loss after 700 equivalent full cycles in one uh, aggregation of test results versus 20% loss of the 5 to 100% scenario. Translating that to years depends on how many equivalent full cycles your driving produces. But the effect scales. Less stress per cycle means more usable years overall. Here's a common practical rule many experts and guides use. Prefer daily charging up to 80% at the most 
and avoid keeping the battery at 100% except for trips or sometimes based on your manual recommendation. Battery University and several industry-wide papers advise keeping the battery out of prolonged high state of charge as a routine. A 20-80% to approach is a sensible middle ground for many drivers. It reduces stress while still delivering usable range for most daily needs. If you want to be aggressive about the longevity, tighten to the 40 to 60% band for daily use with occasional top ups for longer drives. Numbers to memorize here. Best for longevity tight sweet spot is 40 to 60% state of charge. Use this if you can plug in often and only need short daily ranges. Practical daily compromise is 20 to 80% state of charge or 25 to 70% state of charge if you need more safety margins for weekends. Degradation example. Mid-range cycling of 25 to 70 percent or 40 to 60 percent state of charge is 12 percent capacity loss after 700 equivalent full cycles. And full range cycling of 5 to 100 percent is equivalent to 20 percent loss for similar stress. These are lab equivalent numbers. Real world cars have BMS buffers that tightly change the raw numbers but the relative effects holds. How to use the sweet spot for daily commute charging now. Here's how you apply this in the real world, step by step without being annoying. First, know your daily need. If you commute if you commute 30 to 40 miles around trip and your trip has 250 miles of range, you only need small portion of the battery each day. That means you can safely keep your charge target low and top up every night. Two, Set a base limit, use the car's charge limit feature and set a default daily limit of 60 to 80% if you want maximum longevity and can plug in nightly. Pick 60% if you need more buffer for weekends, pick 75% to 80%. You schedule charging with departure time. Many EVs let you finish charging just before you leave. That minimizes the time the battery sits at higher state of charge and avoids long dwell times at high voltages. It also reduces battery heating from sitting in the garage at 100% after charging. Top up in small chunks, not one big swing. Frequent shallow chargers keep depth of discharge small. Lab data supports that small depth of discharge per cycle yields more equivalent cycles over the life of the battery. In practice, plugging in nightly and charging a few percent is better than discharging the to 10% and refilling to 100% once a week. Reserve 100% for trips. When you need full range, set the limit to 90 to 100% for the trip, then revert to your routine limit. Modern BMS systems expect occasional full chargers and are designed for them. So you need to have a full charge once in a while for yeah. your uh, vehicle based on the manual. Avoid long periods at 0% or 100%. If you are storing the car, leave it at mid state of charge, 40 to 60% if you can. High and low extremes while part accelerates calendar aging. And Seventh is uh, temperature matters. Batteries age faster at high temperatures, so avoid keeping the, your car plugged in at 100% in hot garages or sitting it under the sun charged to max. If you live in a hot climate, aim for lower daily top of charge and use the preconditioning for driving. NRL and other labs emphasize that high temperature t plus high state of charge is the worst combo for aging. Here's a key insight you can use. Small everyday choices compound into big lifetime differences. If mid state of charge routine cuts effective aging by say 30 to 50% compared to poor charging habits, that's the years of extra life and thousands of miles of lost range per deferred. You don't need to chase perfect numbers. The difference between uh, charging to 50% uh, on most days versus charging to 100% constantly is not abstract. It's measurable in cycle life and calendar loss in lab data and industry guides. Better daily charging behavior is the single most powerful thing an owner can do to increase battery life without, without char changing the car. If you imagine your battery as a bank account, the mid state of charge sweet spot is the equivalent of living on interest, not burning through the principle. You can still take the vacation, full charges, but day to day should favor conservation. To sum up, batteries age faster at high state of charge and then repeatedly cycle deeply. Time at high voltages plus heat is the main chemical stressor. Lab and field studies show mid-range cycling for roughly 40 to 60 percent or 25 to 70 percent dramatically reduces degradation compared to extreme cycling. One day aggregation shows 12 percent capacity loss after 700 equivalent cycles in mid-range tests versus 20 percent in full range cycles. 
Practical routine is set a daily limit of uh, 60 or 80 percent. Use a scheduled charging to finish right before your trip. Top up frequently with small charges and reserve 100 percent for longer trips. Also, avoid leaving the car at 100 percent in high in in hot conditions. The payoff is real. Better battery health, slower capacity fade, and years more usable life. All from charging habits you can change tonight. If you want to go deeper in the mid state of charge sweet spot, I've provided a PDF. You can download it by clicking on the link in the description. Thank you.